Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel. So on my channel, I have videos on my exam day routine. I have videos on what I do before an exam day and also on the answering techniques for exam paper. By the way, those videos will be linked down below in case you're interested. But the one video which I haven't done yet is what not to do during the exam season. And personally, I think that what not to do during the exam season is as important as what you should do since you should know what you should avoid doing. So today's video is going to be on the 7 things that you should not do during the exam season. The first thing that you should not do during the exam season is to pull an all-nighter or to burn the midnight oil. And I know that this is quite a controversial topic since I'm aware that different people have different peak hours during which their productivity is maximum. However, I did some readings and according to a research done by Texas A&M University, pulling an all-nighter is indeed bad for you. They proposed that a sleep-deprived brain is dysfunctional and I quote, your brain loses efficiency with each hour of sleep deprivation. And also, pulling all-nighters will activate short-term and not long-term memory. So when you're studying, you're hoping to retain that information for a long time, or at least for as long as you need those information. But pulling an all-nighter will only put the information under your short-term memory, meaning it will last you through this exam, but not to the next one. This means that when you're sitting for your future exams, you will have to relearn those material again, and believe me, there is not enough time for that. When you are learning the material, you want to put it under your long-term memory so that in the future you don't need to relearn it again, you just need to review it. And pulling an all-nighter is not the best way to revise in the sense of this. I think that instead of burning the midnight oil, you should definitely get up earlier to maximize your productivity. Let's say you want to pull a study marathon, meaning you want to study for the entire day that day, then you can maybe get up at 7 a.m. and you can study the whole day throughout but with breaks in between definitely and this can help to maximize your productivity in the daytime without having to pull all-nighter since it is clear that pulling all-nighter is bad for you. The second thing not to do during the exam season is to tune out while you're studying. If you can't even remember what you studied five minutes ago then chances are you are not reading it in the first place. Make sure that when you are revising it is 100% productive and you are all there. So to make your study sessions a little bit more effective and active, you can try using highlighters but do not overdo it. Don't highlight every single sentence. Like let's say it's a paragraph, then you can maybe highlight two or three important sentences. Another good way is to keep a little notebook or a piece of paper near you. And once you're done highlighting, you can transfer those information in short form onto those paper or notebook. And this can help your brain to retain information easier and this can also prevent you from falling asleep since you're doing something, you're writing something down and that can help you from falling asleep. Third thing not to do during the exam season is to procrastinate. Believe me, there's literally no time to procrastinate anymore and you have to weigh out the importance between what you want and what you need to do right now. So what you want to do might be to watch TV or to play games, whatever, and what you need to do is to revise for your exams. You need to weigh out this importance and realize which one is more important. Besides, after your exam, you have all the time in the world to do whatever you want to do right now, but right now, you have to revise. And just put your phone away and just start because the hardest thing is often to begin. Once you start, it is easy to get into the rhythm of things. However, I do have a video coming up on the ways to fight procrastination and you guys have been requesting for that video so I'm going to be filming that video real soon and I have more tips on how to fight procrastination. The fourth thing not to do in the exam season is to panic and I know that this one is easier said than done. It is totally in students' nature to panic when it comes to exam season. So. What I do in order to avoid panicking is I start my revision early and try to cover everything in time. But if it's too late for you and you didn't manage to cover up everything, then it's fine as well. You can just get a to-do list and list down everything that you need to do. Only the most important things. And you can go according to that to-do list. Just go one step at a time. A to-do list can literally save your life when you don't know which one is more important. And 
your time is limited, so just pick out all the most important things. It's okay if you can't learn all the material, you can just learn all the most important ones to save your grade. So panicking really doesn't give you any benefit and it will just make things worse. So if you can, just try not to panic during the exam season. The fifth thing that you shouldn't do during the exam season is to compare your preparation with others. And I know again that this is quite difficult to do since it is in our nature to compare our preparation with others. But comparing preparation will only make us more nervous. It will only... If you think about it, there's really no point comparing how much preparation you've done with your friend. Because in the end, those goals you want to achieve are your own. And the only thing you are supposed to compare yourself to is your past self. As I've said before, it is useless to compare it to anyone else. Because they have their goals and... They are doing whatever they can to achieve their goals, but you are you and you are going to do what you can to achieve your goals. So do not compare yourself with others. Do not think that you are not working hard enough. That is what you shouldn't think in the exam season. No matter how much effort you've put in, the results will show. So you can just go into the exam hall knowing that you've done your best. I think it's better to just focus on bettering yourself instead of comparing yourself with other people. Sixth thing not to do during the exam season is to overwork yourself. I know that there is a lot of stuff to do and there's no one who can argue with that. There is really a lot of stuff to cover. The syllabus is a lot and the time is limited. But no matter what, it is important to remember not to overwork yourself. You should definitely revise and study, yes, but remember to take short breaks in between. Personally, I've been using the Pomodoro technique for a while now and it's been working really well for me but whether you choose to use the Pomodoro technique or not it is so important to always give yourself short breaks because those are the things which will keep you going if you just go on and revise all day without short breaks in between then it is so easy to experience burnout and to avoid that definitely give yourself a break when it's time give yourself some reward don't overwork yourself although Many students do overwork themselves when it's the exam season, but that is extremely wrong and that will just pull down your grades. So definitely take care of yourself while working hard. The last thing not to do in the exam season is to learn the material by yourself. I think that the best way to learn the material is of course as it is being taught to you by your teacher in class, because I think it is so important to stay on top of things and to understand everything that is being taught in class but if you unfortunately still do not understand what is being taught to you like two or three weeks ago or a month ago then try to understand it now but don't attempt it on your own because it can be really difficult and you have no sense of direction so i suggest that you do get help whether online resources are everywhere you can get it online you can watch youtube videos you can ask your friends, you can ask your teachers, your tuition teachers. There are so many people to turn to, so definitely don't just try to learn the material by yourself. Don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it, because those resources are there. You just need to reach out, and it will make your life so much easier. Some of you guys have been telling me that you are feeling too shy to raise your hands up in class to ask questions, but I came across this quote some time ago, and it said that, if you ask questions, you are stupid once, but then if you don't ask questions, you remain stupid forever. I'm sure that's a nicer way to put this quote, but this is the way I remembered it. And this quote has definitely encouraged me to ask more questions. So I hope that this can do the same for you. Um, just don't be afraid to ask questions because that is the way that we learn. Those are the seven things which you should avoid doing during the exam season. And I think the hardest one should be to not pull an all-nighter because I know so many people who do pull all-nighters and you guys have always been asking me whether pulling an all-nighter is right. Um, I can't say whether it's right or wrong but according to that research, pulling an all-nighter does have a bad effect on your brain. And I know that habits are difficult to change as well because if you have the habit of pulling an all-nighter, if I suddenly ask you to stop burning the midnight oil, then it might be difficult for you. But, but as I've said before, try waking up earlier instead of staying up late to maximize your productivity. Just give it a try and see how it goes. 
Also, to avoid pulling all nighter, you can try to start your preparation as early as possible so that you do not feel the need to cram when it's one day before an exam. When it's one day before an exam, the most important thing is definitely to get enough sleep. I've always emphasized on that. Anyways, for those of you who are still in the exam season, who are still sitting for your exams, I wish you all the best. Hang in there and it will be over soon. And just remember not to overwork yourself. Remember to take rest. I know that it is so easy to overwork yourself under the stress of exams. But don't do that. It's just bad for you. So that's it for today's video. Those are the 7 things not to do during the exam season. And I hope that you guys learned something from this video. And if you did think that it was helpful, do give it a like. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.